Um, I figured I would open up for Gary, do a little joke. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, um, I'm here today. I know we have six people running for city council. Um, in my opinion, I think we have six really good people running. One in particular I know very well, and he happens to be standing here to the left of me. Um, Gary and I have had numerous conversations early morning, late at night, the hours that he puts in especially. And I do not envy you at all for running for city council. <laughs> Um, but what I am happy about is not that I don't want to be running, but I'm happy that somebody that shares a lot of my values and I think a lot of the values of Glendora is running. So that being said, I know, uh, you know, we may have disagreements and we may have uh, differences of opinion on the issues, but one thing Gary Boyer does know, uh, he is an honest person and he's going to tell you how it is. Whether you agree or disagree or what he may stand for and what you may, you're going to know where he stands and why he's coming from that way and he'll sit down and talk to you. And I think that's very important right now in the political climate that we have. I know we have some issues facing Glendora regarding development. And uh, it seems like sometimes it, it gets shut down and the citizens don't have a voice. I truly, truly believe that Gary is going to allow the citizens to have a voice. So um, I also want to thank Jane Bach for being here. She's on the Charter Oak School District Board. Um, thank you very much for coming. I know the school districts are, that's why people move to Glendora. We're in real estate. We see it every day. It's the low crime in the schools. So uh, thank you for being a part of this. I know that you guys want to have your voice as well, but it is my great honor to introduce Gary Boyer. <laughs> okay, thanks to everybody for coming. As those of you that know me, <clears throat> you, you know that I'm not a very political person. You know, we sort of go into something like this as, as a first timer not really having an idea what to expect. I've never even been to a kickoff before, let alone have one. Um, but, you know, it's just nice to get people down here, get together and, and have an opportunity to talk. Uh, you know, the bottom line is, honestly, six months ago, this wasn't, this wasn't in my thought process. Um, you know, things happen and things change. And I, I actually had a good friend of mine that made the comment to me that, hey, you go to meetings, you talk about things, you, you know, you get up, you, you say what's on your mind, maybe it's time to get off your butt and do something. So that's what I decided to do. Um, you know, coming into this, you know, the, the big issue that we have here in town right now is development. It's not necessarily development, it's high density development and the concern that we have with it getting out of control. Um, th there's a lot of things going on right now and when I heard our city leaders make the comment that this high density development is going to be the future of Glendora that's not the Glendora that I want to live in that's not the Glendora that I want my grandkids to grow up and, and raise their families in and uh, there are six good people that are running for council we have different opinions and they just have some of them have a different view of the future of Glendora than, than what I do it's important that people get involved. As I've gotten into this, I've discovered that we have 30-some thousand registered voters in the city of Glendora. We have about 5,000 that vote for city council. And I, I'm hoping that I can reach out and try to get more than that involved in the city council election this time. The more people you get involved, the, the better it is. Again, never been to a kickoff before. You know, those of you that came out, some of you are my friends, we work together. Um, some people I've talked to on the phone and, and email and through Facebook, and I really appreciate you coming out. Um, Zach just recently did a poll on Glendora City News um, as far as who would you vote for today. 155 people, 155 people participated in that poll. Now, a couple weeks ago, he did a poll as to who is the, has the best pizza in town <laughs> and had over 1,200 people participate in that poll. I haven't been involved as I should have been prior to now. I know a lot of you have been much more involved than I have. Jane was very helpful to me when I, when I first talked about doing this. I actually, I think you were the first person I talked to, and you said, are you out of your mind? <laughs> but... You know, what it comes down to is we need to be more involved. We need to speak up a little bit more. I, I know it's tough to go to the meetings. I know it's tough to, um, to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the city. I think it's important that we elect people that we can trust to make decisions that are in our best interest. 
And that's what I'm hoping to do. I will make one promise to everybody here and everybody that votes, whether they vote for me or not, if I become your city council person, when you come and talk to me, I will listen to you. We may not agree, we may not agree, but I will listen to you, I will respond to you. I believe most questions can be answered with yes or no. There doesn't need to be a 400 word question when somebody asks the question as to what time is it. And that is what I promise that I will do and I will look out for the best interests of Glendora. I want Glendora to be a great place when Tessa and Derek and Jacob are raising their kids here. Thank you all very much for coming. I appreciate you helping to get the word out as well. Do me a favor, just get five more people. If everybody can get five more people to get involved and understand that at a local level, we can make a difference. Sacramento, it's tough to make a difference. Washington is so far out of control, we don't know what's going to happen there. But at the local level, we have the ability to make a difference, and, and I hope to make a difference. Thank you all very much for coming, and I really appreciate it. Thanks.